yep. and look at those big engines oh, he's yeah. got. That's some 350s, a brand oh, new boat he bought earlier this year. And there's and, blue. And uh, blue and uh, Miss Joan. Look at the acorns. And that's at my house. Uh, there was an article on the front page of the Advocate this week about uh, people commenting they've never seen so many acorns. And uh, when I was driving off, I could hear them popping under my wheel, so I stopped the car and I took a picture of it. That's all acorns. Putting corn out for the dairy ain't helping you this year. They got plenty no. of food out there. And uh, this is a function held a Monday night, a uh, political function over at uh, Vidrine's Cafe. Mr. Hubert Vidrine and his wife and family were kind enough to host uh, an well, 90 plus people were there. Mm -hmm. And this is Gary. Gary hails from Beaumont, Texas, and uh, he is the successful attorney in that lawsuit uh, oh, against yeah. uh, these people who had fabricated some stories against uh, Hubert Vidrine. The big smile right, right there. there that's he, right. He, he is smiling. And it took friend. many, many years of sleepless nights. And I said, you didn't get enough money. Uh, I think they awarded him 1.6, but can you imagine what the attorney bills are going to be well, you know and investigative bills and everything that's been spent all these years? And they had tarnished uh, uh, his name, and thank God uh, Gary is uh, very, very... I said, how did you... How did you ever team up with Hubert? He says, you ever hear of Mr. Lee Matern with the Premier Energy out of Lafayette? I said, yes, I've heard of Lee Matern's name. He says, well, I represented him, and he and uh, Hubert Welcome back, were, were, were good friends, and that's how the uh, uh, relationship uh, came about. And now they're personal friends. And Gary yeah. is invited to come to my house next time he's in and and stay with me a couple of nights. Ramp Spar there as well? That's Mr. Ramp was there. And what you got here, you building a new house? Building two spec houses in Miramar a Subdivision in Youngsville, Louisiana. Oh, Timeline Lord. builders, there I might go. add. If you from need a house in Youngsville, call Bobby Dupree. He's trying to sell some. That's correct. Uh, quality portable buildings. Maybe not looking for a full-blown house. Maybe just looking for like a little building to be a maybe a, a beauty shop behind your house, a little CPA, uh, you know, bookkeeping type place. Maybe it's just to put a garage. Maybe it's to be a barn. Maybe it's an outdoor kitchen. Go call them over at Quality Portable Buildings right there off I-49, exit 23. They can help you out. They're open on Saturdays at three miles north of Opelousas. They can custom build a building for you. They've also got U-Haul rentals and propane sales as well. You got some obituaries. Yes, we're down I to ten do. minutes left, and we got a lot to cover still. Mm. So you got to get rolling. You we're just keep busy. on going. Oh, here's what I got. How about the Huey Bork? Is the last week for the Huey Bork Memorial Scholarship to the Woodman of the World Lodge 47. You can call Ken Thibodeau 942-2736 to apply. You got to be a college student with 30 to 90 hours already of credit. It's a $500 scholarship. They're going to give out this December. So call Ken. He will hook you up. And this weekend, the Washington Garden Club is going to have their fall harvest of historic homes right across the street from the uh, police station at the pavillon they're going to meet there at 9 30 tour start at 10 30 dollars a person you'll see all kind of great old homes like de la morandier and uh, on the death side mr leroy sylvester a person i've known uh, literally all my life i was born not uh, probably three miles from where mr leroy and his family lived and of course, uh, he's survived by his daughter, Judy Sylvester Sebastian, mm -hmm. and of course her husband, Keith Sebastian, who is Beryl's uh, son, mm -hmm. and Beryl is my first cousin, so very, very close related. kin. And of course, on the Sylvester side, uh, his sister was Miss Loyon. Twin sister, Luella Loyon. Uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's yeah, right, twins. twins. And then, of course, we know Charles and uh, we know uh, Yvonne, Yvonne Norman. Norman. Yeah, which would so, be his niece and nephew. My very deepest of sympathies, and I had planned on going there Wednesday morning to the funeral home, and we got tied up and mm -hmm. uh, had to visit with several people that normally we have a little time before we have to start, but uh, I want to apologize to Judy uh, and the family. Good. And then another person who just uh, learned of, of her death today is uh, Miss Romaine Fontenot, but around Opelousa, she's known as Plum, Plum Sandals. Mr. La Lawrence Sandals, mm -hmm. uh, who d is deceased, Correct. but extremely well, well known attorney, uh, a firm that's probably a hundred and something years old. And uh, of course, uh, they have a son that Larry 
is continuing the tradition of having a Sandals. Remember, we, sh we saw the building, Sandals and Shift building. building. And uh, she was uh, 88 years old, a nice, nice life. Saw her, her, her daughter, Karen, uh, a Christian, and uh, of course her husband is Dr. Van Christian. Correct. Saw them Monday. You At remember he came, Club. he came over when we were planning our uh, Santa breakfast. He came over and picked at us and uh, wanted to know what, what, what who we were plotting against. Mm -hmm. Well, anyhow, uh, I she was still alive at that time. My very deepest of sympathies on the death of Miss Plum Sandals. What Van said he was going to quit hunting, is that what he said? Yeah, I want to see he that. He quit hunting to come eat. Yeah, to eat. <laughs> that, that's about right. And then this is a person that you may know, Miss Loretta sure Wheaton Hogruder right. uh, mm -hmm. from Port Barry. She passed away. And her, her uh, husband was uh, Antoine A.H. Hogruder. But what did he had another name? Yeah. He he went by a little nickname, and it wasn't me, a, a, And of course, I know I, I know the boys, uh, T Boy and Johnny, and and, and all all that and crew. Tommy, right. yeah, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Uh, our deep sympathies. Uh, she was uh, eighty years old, mm -hmm. and uh, f shows Opelousas, but f she was from Port Barry, right. and the family actually lives in Port Barry. And you and I talked last week a little bit about Connie DeVille, about Connie. Fran DeVille's wife who yeah, passed away. Yeah, you had away. just heard it. It wasn't she in the She had taught at yet. OHS and, uh, you know, they're very active at Westminster with the soccer programs and, and, and Sandals Park. Huge crowd of people. A lot, a lot of kids in the soccer uniforms came to the funeral to, you know, to show their support. For oh, them. great. That's wonderful. Uh, Dr. Landrino, Fraser Edmund Landrino, uh, he was living in the, in the Baton Rouge area, but hails from uh, Eunice, Louisiana, and he's the son of, of uh, Dr. Uh, Rodney E. Landrino Jr., mm -hmm. and uh, a whole family of, of doctors, a well, well-known family. Our deepest sympathies, uh, they have beautiful uh, obituary written up uh, about his life, and uh, I think he was pretty young here. Let's see. It probably is, it doesn't say it, but uh, he, he, the picture looks young. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's his yeah. college picture. No. J.E. likes to, <laughs> right, J.E. E. Brignac, my partner, loves to say when it's a young looking picture, he says, oh, that, they pulled that out of the college uh, uh, book. There's a, a benefit for Dolores Corville this weekend at St. Bridget's Catholic Church Hall right there in Lotel from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. There's going to be fun events, music, an auction, raffles, t-shirt sales, everything for kids and adults. You can call, let's see, the first name I see is Nikki Gaspar, 298 094 go by spend a little bit of money to help when we when I was getting down out of my vehicle ramp and I were getting out at uh, Vidrine's uh, on Monday night uh, a young man came up to me shook my hand and started laughing he says uh, you recognize that car I said I sure do he says uh, where was it I said well we were getting our inspection stickers uh, inspection stickers placed on our vehicles. We were at A plus glass on West Landry. He says, yeah, you remember my name? I said, no, I, I'm not gonna, gonna lie. He's Wilton King. He's a brother to Joe Charles here in oh, Opelousas. Yeah. Of course, right. Joe Charles and his wife and Wilton and his wife were in attendance at this function for Senator Gilroy on mm -hmm. Monday night. He has a beautiful white Chrysler 300 and I was in my vet. I like so, those. so he wanted to trade me. I, I couldn't quite make the trade. And uh, coming out uh, Sunday when we left uh, Venice, we stopped in and made Mass at uh, the St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Sofalu, Sofalu, Port Sofa, Louisiana. Port, Port Sofa. Sofa. And uh, after the Mass was over with, we would, I went over to talk and see if anybody would have known uh, Billy and Versi McGee, Versi Miller McGee. They were two of my classmates, and he went to school, he went to work at Port Sulphur right after high school and maybe college, I'm not sure about college, but high school. And uh, a couple of people said, well, we kind of, yeah, well, I, I think we know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then Tommy Solis comes up and he says, you remember he, me? He didn't know them, but he knew Bobby Dupre. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that's right, he knew me. Uh, he came up and uh, he says, uh, uh, Donnie Perron's friend. I said, yep, yep. And of course, he attended our retreat last year and he called you and he's going to make you, the retreat. Make it again. It was his first, first one. He enjoyed first it. week in, in March. And you know, we always forget about Coach Perron. I say Coach Perron, now the superintendent of St. Landry Parish uh, Schools. Uh, he made his reputation at Port Sulphur when he had the great football teams down right. there. Right. And, so, and uh, 
Coach Perron, Donnie Perron, right. is the godfather of, Grant, of uh, Tommy's son, Grant. So right. it's a so. little bitty, bitty world. Uh, just, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's fun to, to make these connections. And it yep. uh, looks like I never get through with all the connections. Food Drive, Queen of Angels, December the 3rd. That's a Saturday from 9 to 12. All proceeds are going to go to Icons over here in town. And the Women's Club is selling point setters, $15 a piece. And that helps all kind of different things. Boys and Girls Club and you name it, New Life Center. Call 692-9351 if you want to order a point setter. I spoke about Larry uh, Leger sometime earlier, yeah. and uh, he's on a new type of diet. I had never heard of it. Blood type and diet is linked. Well, uh, hmm. in print, there's an article in Sunday, November the 13th, The Advocate, uh, and that would be under health on page 8D if you want to uh, get go to your computer or go to your cell phone and uh, read about it. You can read about uh, blood type and diet. Blood type and diet. And yep. Larry uh, is a firm believer that uh, he's lost several pounds, but also it helps the healthy. body. It's healthy. So, Larry, we need to talk about that. The lighting of the lights at La Vie Village is going to be December, Friday, December the 2nd from 5 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. So, go by. It's going to be a fun, fun time with everybody out there and all our local businesses are, are involved. I understand Mickey and Minnie Mouse will even be there and Santa Claus. Uh, we always talking about play zones, play zones, where I'm from. I'm the little boy from play zones. That's going to be the name of my book. So keep that in mind. You might want to write that down. Uh, but I haven't started yet, so don't, don't rush to the uh, Barnes & Noble bookstore quite yet. There's going to be a big, big uh, event taking place at Zodico Park. Mm -hmm. uh, Zodico Park is in play zones. Apparently, that's what they, they used to call, we used to refer to it as Southwest Zodico Festival. Right. Well, the Zodico Park is where the festival is, is held. Right. Well, they're wanting to attempt and begin having more events out there. Concerts. Uh, 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 concerts. And uh, this particular Saturday and this Sunday, Saturday, they're going to have, what's the young man's name? Uh, uh, ludicrous. Be. Yeah, ludicrous. I wasn't going to say it. I wanted you to say it. Yeah, see ludicrous. You know, ludicrous. to get you a CD. That's correct. That's the Saturday. He'll head up the Saturday event, His, and the Sunday event is going to be Chris. country music star Chris right. Young. So that's L two ludicrous different. is sort of a rap type uh, mixture for young people, and and the young uh, young man is uh, country music, but a young people too. So. Some of that crosses over a little bit. Saturday so. and Sunday, yeah, Saturday Play and Zones, Sunday. Louisiana. Be interesting And thing. you want to tell me, you're punching me in my oh, knee. That's I'm down usually, to the end, yeah. Usually that's to tell we're down me to the end. that we're at the end. we sorry if we want, you, we're expecting us to maybe show something about you or something. Uh, we do the best we can in the hour that we have. And uh, we'll just remind you that mm -hmm. this is election day. Please go out and vote for the And breakfast person. with Santa's December the 7th. Yeah, Forget keep that. Keep as well. that. And uh, we close the, the program each uh, week uh, asking you to consider attending the church of your choice. And then we have a little prayer, some thought. Lord, give me the strength and the grace to forgive all those who have wronged me. And let me in turn receive mercy from you. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for telling a friend. And I want to thank Andrew for assisting. Thank you, Chief.